My name is Camilla Bellario. I'm a stand-up comic, a musician, a businesswoman. Normally, my stand-up is reserved for the late-night crowd, if you catch my drift. But today, you're going to get a more intimate look at who I am, where I come from, who I'm becoming. I am an immigrant. My family moved to the state of Michigan in the early 90s from Argentina, a city called Rosario. We moved to the state of Michigan, to a city very well known for its cultural diversity and inclusion. You guessed it, we moved to Howell, Michigan. <laughs> in the 90s. There is no such thing called the Argentinian dream. It has no ring to it. But if there was an Argentinian dream, it would be likely moving to the United States for the American dream. The American dream is very real. A place unlike many others where you can basically make something out of nothing if you're willing to put the hard work in. From a very young age, I knew I needed to maximize my potential to pay my parents back for the sacrifice that they committed bringing us to the United States. I've been singing as long as I could speak, so I decided to go to the University of Michigan School of Music for my undergraduate degree to get a degree in opera. I didn't only sing classical music, though. I also wrote my own music, uh, Americana music. This is a song that I wrote uh, about the idea, the concept, that in the United States, we're always thinking about this big, bright future. But as humans, we're conditioned to lament the past. It's called, the song is called Ghost Town. Turned around and it was gone. World was spinning all around. Didn't even leave a trace. And I'm holding on somehow. Never know when it's going to be the best time. Never know when it's going to be the last time. Because if I had a choice, I would have held on. If I had a choice, I would have laid down. And I wouldn't let go. And I wouldn't let go, and I wouldn't let go, I wouldn't let go, I wouldn't let go. That's Ghost Town. Thank you. That song is a major hit. I get at least two streams a month, so <laughs> remember my name. As most things happen, they don't always turn out the way that you think they will. I never became this huge opera star, but music school did teach me a lot of valuable lessons in rejection, mental toughness, grit. The kind of mental toughness you can only get from practice, practicing a song for five months, only to sing it for five minutes for two people that don't know you and for them to tell you someone else got the role. You get that good at rejection, you end up naturally doing stand-up comedy where it's very common to bomb in front of five people in a dive bar every single time. But one day I woke up and I thought to myself, Camilla, you don't have enough debt. So I decided to go to grad school. <laughs> I went to pursue my MBA at the University of Michigan Ross School of Business for debt and the male to female ratio, very healthy in the male sector. <laughs> Listen, at that point I was in my 30s and let's be honest, the dating scene in Michigan is not ideal. In the Midwest in general, we are not aging like a fine wine. We are aging like a fine cheese. But I like cheese. I woke up one day, though, and realized that my entire life I had been reaching for this point. When I finished my MBA, I landed my dream job in my dream company, and I, left, I was left there not knowing what to do with my hands. I felt like an empty nester. I had raised my children, they left the house. All I was left with were dirty dishes and a husband I wanted to divorce. But I thought to myself, what next? I got off stage the other day, I was doing a comedy show, and someone came up to me and said, young lady, you have a bright future. I'm not gonna lie, it depressed me. I was like, sir, how old do you think I am? He thought I was a teenager, no doubt. I know I look like I'm young, but I'm in my 30s. I was like, a bright future for me is retirement, paying off my debt, <laughs> golf. <laughs> but that's the thing. In the United States, we're always focusing on this big, bright, beautiful next thing. So much to not realize the American dream that we're all living, all the opportunities that we have today. We have all the time in the world to have a big, bright, beautiful future. Especially in a society where we're focusing on breaking news, cancel culture, 
We're always being told to change our thought, to change who we are, but if I ever thought about that, I'd never be where I am today. Listen, cancel culture has held a lot of people accountable. For a girl who grew up with a photo of Bill Cosby on her bedroom wall, these last few years have been devastating. And I'm considering taking it down. <laughs> but I refuse to believe that my future is any brighter than my today. And that's why I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. It's a sham. Because it forces you to think that you're going to be anything better than you were in the future than you are right now. Why not maximize today? And that's why I decided to make what we call win-win resolutions. OK, a win-win resolution is if I were to say, this year, I'm going to try crack. <laughs> Kids, don't do crack. Crack is for adults. <laughs> but if I don't do crack, there goes another year without crack. But if I do, well, I told you I would. I'm going to share my resolutions with you right now. These are my resolutions. You can't lose these resolutions, because this year's resolutions are win-win resolutions. I'm going to eat cake, stay up late, gain weight, and flatulate. I want a big old steak every day. I'm going to love my body anyway. I'm going to try crack. I won't be ashamed. Everybody does it. I will make it work. I'm balling on a budget. Might not look you in the eye. The shame is too much to bear, but I just kind of want to waste my time more. I want to play Club Kino at the restaurant. Play for the jukebox. I want to play that game where you spend $75 trying to get that bear with that claw. You never even wanted that bear, and you never quite get it either, do you? I want to watch TV like six hours a week. I never watch enough TV. There's so much great TV. When people ask me what I like, I never know what to say. I want to sit there and figure that out. That one's very real for me. I want to watch more TV. Plus, if anyone asks me why I don't watch Stranger Things one more time, they're going to hear something stranger than that. Like I never watched Game of Thrones. Take no crap, no more inside voices. I will interrupt, cause that's my choice. No more walking eggshells, I'm gonna be myself. I just kinda wanna be more rude. Excuse you, I do mind. These are my resolutions. You can't lose these resolutions. Cause this year's resolutions are win-win resolutions. Thank you guys very much. May you please focus on your beautiful bright now.